What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be another video on the Faction Abyss and that time I'm going to show you the team I used to beat the Foresters stage 30 in Infinite Magic Raid. Let's go. So, this is the team. I used the limited hero inside of it and if you don't have Jingle Bell then good luck to beat that stage. Maybe without her you are going to be able to beat the stage 27 or 28 or if you have really really huge stats on heroes and auras, echoes etc. Maybe you are going to be able to beat the boss without using your Jingle Bell. And Ogradis, yes of course it can work but you are going to need crazy stats on heroes. This is clear after all, that guy has just everything you can buy in the game and huge stats on heroes that you will never have, even another Kraken can't have the same stats. So in the team I decided to use Luna, uh, she is not mandatory but she's gonna help you a lot. If you don't have Luna you can use Betelgeuse instead. The goal is gonna be to reduce the attack of the boss, both can do that, Betelgeuse can also increase your defense and he can also increase your attack by 40%. And she is gonna do that. It's even better to use her because she can cleanse your heroes and she can also apply a block debuff on your heroes and so you are gonna be you are gonna avoid being stunned by the boss ultimate. This is really important to have that really strong in your team and also she can heal a lot so having her in your team is gonna help you a lot. I'm using Teru for his consolidation and the shields he can provide to my team. He is great for that. Then uh, Ronai to increase my turn metal. I want the turn metal of the boss ap apply feebleness to and heal my heroes a bit more and finally my Veronica because she is a poisoner and poisons lower the attack of the boss when he has layers on, of poisons on him so she is great for that and also she is a second damage dealer so she helps me during waves and versus the boss to deal some extra damage and finally Jingle Bell of course for her damage because she is an insane hero for that she is gonna deal a ton of damage to the boss so let's check that so this this is the first turn. I want to kill them and none too fast so I can get my cooldowns back for the second wave. So I'm gonna increase my turn meta, I'm gonna apply the consolidation too so I'm gonna be able to tank, I'm gonna increase my turn meta and apply the block debuff on my guys and I'm gonna put some poisons on Gram D, why not? And then I'm not gonna use the ultimate because as I said I want to avoid killing them too fast and if I'm using the ultimate they are gonna die in a second and I won't have the ultimate for the second wave. This is really important important to have the ultimate to clear the second wave because this is the hardest one. If you take burns on your heroes, you can say bye bye to the, to the victory. So let's just concentrate and kill that guy. Then the poisons went on another one. Now I'm gonna lower their turn meta, inflict feebleness to use that. I don't care about the uh, the hypnotize because uh, when they are taking their turn, they are taking a direct damage attack from Jingle Bell passively, and so uh, the hypnotize doesn't work. So let's cleanse and heal. I took some extra damage. I'm almost dead with my hero, so let's kill her. So. Perfect. Uh, this is the power of Veronica, by the way. Uh, the poisons, when I killed, um, I don't, Weasley, they spread out on others, and so they killed everybody. This is really strong. Okay, second wave. And there I want to save my skills but I want to kill them with my uh, Jingle Bell so I'm just gonna use that one to have the feebleness and be sure that I'm killing them with the ultimate of my Jingle Bell. Really important to save that skill for the next uh, fight, for the next wave. So I'm not uh, wasting my skills, I'm gonna use the ultimate and now they are dead. Bus wave and this is where it's gonna be annoying. I can do the fight in auto, but I have maybe, what, 50% chance to win on the stage 30, so I'm autoing the stage 30, 20, 29 at the moment to increase the level of the aura on my Jingle Bell. But that stage in manual is a bit easier to do, so you want to increase your turn meta first. Apply the consolidation too, so I'm gonna be able to tank the attack of the boss. Then I want to use that skill, so I'm gonna be able to resist the stun of the boss with my heroes. Or maybe not because they are taking too much turn meta, so in fact it's useless to use that. But at least I can use my skills right now. I'm not gonna do that because 
I want to have the attack buff from Luna before using my ultimate. So I can tongue the first attack and Luna is gonna cleanse the stun right after. So this is why it was important to use the first active skill with her so she had the block debuff on herself and now she can cleanse my other heroes. And look at that, attack down 40% on the boss, this is thanks to the passive of Luna. You need a lot of effect hit on her and once you have an enough effect hit when he's gonna target your Luna, you have some chance to inflict feeble uh, attack down to on him, 100% chance. So. Uh, let's heal and increase my turn meta, let's cleanse my heroes and give the attack up 40%. Another uh, thing really important, the exclusive 3 on Luna. Otherwise, if you don't have the exclusive 3, sometimes she's gonna apply the heal and not the attack buff on your heroes. And you are gonna lack a lot of damage. So now I have the attack up 40% on my Jingle Bell and I'm gonna use the first active skill. And this is what I can do for now. Yeah, this is kind of nice, but way not enough. But all the time during the fight, she's going to have more damage. So I just have to be careful and stay alive until the end of the fight. So let's increase my turn meta, apply some more poisons. Deal a bit more damage. And now I'm going to have the consolidation 2 again. And I'm going to be able to tank the ultimate. Very easy for now. So now I'm gonna apply the Feebleness 2 on the boss. More poisons, so it's gonna deal some damage and lower the attack of the boss. Basic attack. Increase my turn meta, and sadly I was stunned with my Luna. So let's heal just a bit. I'm gonna save that skill as before, I want the attack up to before using it. To maximize my damage. So I'm gonna use that skill now to have a bit more damage, more poisons on the boss, basic attack, consolidation 2. I hope I'm not gonna get stunned. And I I got stunned. So I'm not gonna be able to use the skill. A feebleness 2 on the boss, more poisons, basic attack basic attack and I wasted my skill in fact so I should have used it instead of waiting you have to be careful about that during the fight I'm gonna do it again use the ultimate first and try to get the ultimate of Luna to get the attack up 40% and I don't have it so one more time it was a waste of time okay so let's use the uh, that skill that time Okay, same damage as before, but I lost my uh, Jingle Bell. So let's increase my turn meta. More poisons on the boss. I'm gonna lose again my Jingle Bell for sure. Okay, she's still alive. First, health bar down on the boss. So maybe I have a chance to win. So Feebleness 2. Increase my turn meta. I'm gonna be able to tank the next attack. It's only a basic attack, it does no damage at all. Five poisons on the boss. Basic attack. Now, I'm gonna have the ultimate of my Luna. No? Okay. So, Consolidation 2. I should be able to tank the ultimate of the boss. Five poisons on him. Turn meta increase. And I'm not stunned that time. That's good. So, I'm gonna use that skill that time. Yeah, not enough damage. Way not enough damage. But all my heroes are still alive though. So that time I'm gonna increase the attack of my heroes, I think. And heal them. On the next turn I'm gonna have the Consolidation 2 again. So I'm gonna be able to tank another ultimate of the boss. Uh, increase my turn meta again, Consolidation 2. More poisons, basic attack. Basic attack. And he is almost dead. I have to tank that attack, but I have Feebleness 2 on my Jingle Bell, and this is gonna be really bad. I, I might lose my two damage dealers. Yeah, that was expected. So I have to retry. And there we are again. So let's redo the same as before.
Okay, first death on the boss. Is it gonna change something that time or not? I think he's gonna play before my heroes and I don't have the consolidation too, so no, of course it will never work. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, I survived with everyone. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I have no thing anymore. She is stunned. I'm not gonna have some heals in time, so I am dead. And feebleness too on Jingle Bell. Okay, she doesn't have it anymore. But I'm dead, of course I am. Okay, I survived. <laughs> I had a lot of heals apparently and it saved my ass. So more poisons on the bus. Now let's use the ultimate. Basic attack. Intertwined. Heal. And turn meta increase. Three more poisons. Turn meta increase. Ultimate. Basic attack. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Am I gonna get the three stars? Okay, feebleness two again. I survived. It's gonna be close. Maybe it's gonna work. Basic attack. At least I can survive the basic attack of the person, so I'm gonna be able I I'm gonna be able to deal a bit more damage. Come on. I don't have the first active skill on Jingle Bell. It might not work. Let's clean. Hope I have the consolidation too with my Teru. Oh no, man! 12%! 12%! Have to retry again! Okay, first HP bar down as well, and I'm gonna run the fight in auto just to see because it's just me who plays badly and so maybe it's gonna be better to do that in auto, who knows? <laughs> I'm curious to see, so let's check that. Hel almost dead though. And you are gonna see that it's gonna work in full auto. Oh man. Okay, I might not get the three stars, but the bus is dead. The bus is dead. <laughs> At least the bus is dead. Uh, so it's working in auto apparently, but my I lost my Veronica before the end. Uh, of course, I can increase the potential of my team because I have no great auras on them. I only have the shield smash aura on my Jingle Bell, so when she has a shield, her damage are going up. But I have no skill master and I have no combo vanguard aura on my team and so using only that it would increase a lot my damage and of course it would be way easier to get the 3 stars on that stage and with less turns. But it's working pretty efficiently so far. So I'm gonna show you the smart casting of the team just in case you ask. So this is what I'm using on the first wave I'm opening with the first active skill of Ronai and everything is open. I'm banning everything on the second wave because I want that skill on the last wave. So I can increase the turn meta of my heroes and play before the boss. This is important because I don't have more speed on my supports than the boss. Look at that. 2455 speed on my Luna only. This is really bad. It sucks. I would need more than 2800 to be more efficient. If I had that, of course I could get the 3 stars easier. And on my uh, Luna, so I'm opening with that skill on the first wave and then I'm banning it. On the second wave, everything is banned and on the th third wave, I'm opening uh, priority to that skill in fact. This is the best one to have so you can increase your turn meta and prevent your heroes from being controlled. On my Jingle Bell, I'm banning the ultimate on the first wave because as I said before, I don't want to kill them too fast. Uh, otherwise, the second wave is gonna w uh, wipe. I, I need the ultimate there to deal high damage to, to the wave and kill them in one turn. Otherwise, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to tank the burns. And finally, on the last wave, we really to the first active skill, of course, because this is the one that deals the highest amount of damage. 
Then on Teru, uh, use the first active skill and then I'm banning it. On the second wave, I'm banning the first active skill because I want to have the consolidation first on the third wave. And he has less speed than the boss as well. 2,500. So thanks to all the turn meta increasing the team, he is able to play really often. And that's interesting. That's strong. And on my Veronica, everything is open everywhere. Okay, she does what she wants. And she is not built as a damage dealer, okay? She is built as a support. Uh, because she, as you can see, she has a ton of speed and only speed gear. And the goal is going to be to have a lot of effect hit, a bit of mastery, so she can still deal some damage. But I want to play her uh, to inflict some poisons to the boss and play often so she can lower the damage of the boss over time. My main damage dealer is my Jingle Bell, so maybe I'm wrong to try to do that, but I tried her with a classic damage dealer build and it was way worse because I wasn't able to play often with her sometimes I was uh, missing some poisons and so at the end even at the end she deal she was dealing less damage than with that build on that boss the fact is that the boss has 2800 speed and so if you had a bad speed on her you will never have poison layers on the boss so I think this is the way to play her in that content to, to play her as a support to lower the damage of the boss more often so let me show you the build of my heroes. I have a lot of mythic gears uh, on them because uh, Ronai, I'm using her in PvP also. So she has two speed sets, she has a 2922 speed and a lot of effect hit 180% almost. She converts a lot of effect hit into effect resistance and so during the fight she won't be stunned. Uh, really often so that does help and then you want to increase your HP of, of, of course and your healing effect but she has absolutely nothing so she doesn't heal a lot this is why I'm using my Luna if you don't have Luna you are gonna need to have some heals and so maybe you want to play her with a lot of healing effect instead uh, she has that echo to have a bit more effect hit and a bit more healing effect during the fight and also increase a bit the tenacity of my heroes and so they can't they can tank a bit more during the run. This is important. Uh, zero star, as you can see, and level 22. So it's up to you to use it or not. But it's going to help you a lot if you have it. Uh, I'm using some direct damage reduction on her a bit. This is not that much. Uh, some leech. <laughs> it, it's completely useless on her. And some hypnotized hits. Okay, that's more for PvP. On Jingle Bell, I'm using a Devouring set and a Slay set. She has a lot of attack and crit damage and 100% crit rate. Look at that. 56k attack of 370% crit damage. And she has a lot of speed so she can still play often during the run. Uh, she has... Uh, a lot of mythic gear, but not maxed out. I'm lacking gold. She has a plus 19 piece of gear there and another plus 17. So I can increase that in the future. She has the shield smash aura, 5 stars, and, and it's level 9 at the moment. So I'm currently farming that stage to increase her damage. And this is the best echo to have on her. Level 30. I, I tried her own echo, and even her own echo, you will never have crazy damage with her using that. You need that one it's gonna give her a lot of direct damage and she is gonna have a ton of damage during the fight with that echo 48% attack 12% more direct damage and a bit more damage over time during the fight this is a great echo and then crit rate 13% more 7% uh, more crit damage if you want you can buy some in the shop for nothing that one I bought it for one dollar only in the auction house so <laughs> do what you want but this that was not expensive it, it it was a bit though i had to wait uh, i was checking I, i'm gonna show that to you directly so for players that are curious to to know i was there and i was trying to find a crit damage one to increase the damage of my um of my uh, jingle bell and I was having a look to the time left. And as you can see, that one, 5 hours, okay, I was lucky enough to have one. I had to wait 30 minutes. And it was 50. The price, the bid price was at 50. And so it was giving to me, yeah, look at that one, 13% and 61 in 5 hours. So maybe you can be lucky enough to get it. So back to the game. And I have more HP rates on her with the blessings, so uh, she is going to be a bit more tanky during the fight. It can help a lot.
And Teru, I'm using him with, look at that, a plus 8 of blue speed gear. The goal is gonna be to have some speed on him and so you are gonna need some speed sub stats. I don't have great ones on him but it's still helping me a lot. And I have only one piece of mythic gear so if I increase that one in the future he's gonna have even more speed and this is a tank so uh, he does not have a high speed in, at, at the base so... Two speed set, 2500 speed, this is way less than the boss but still useful thanks to the uh, turn meta increase in my team and 634k HP, it can be way better than that. But at the end of the day I'm trying to auto multiple content at once, I don't want to change the gear all the time. Uh, you can do that if you want to complete it for the first time though, just give on your heroes the biggest sets you have on your account and of course it might work way better than that. I have no echo on him and no aura at all. So one more time, I'm lacking one great echo. I should try to use the echo of Rista. Uh, I'm gonna show that to you. I should try to use that echo and so if I was doing that I would have even more damage during the run. So if you have it, use it. It's gonna be way better. And he has some speed blessings. A plus eight and a plus nine. This is bad but it's still helpful uh, then my Veronica yeah I showed you the gear she has only 130% mastery 144% effect hit and a ton of speed and 41 uh, almost 42k attack and classic mastery expert aura blue one uh, then my Luna she has a first it's set and a speed set to 2455 speed uh, and this is pretty much it okay she needs a bit of healing effect she has only 37% but it was helpful uh, she was performing great with that only and she has a lot of effect resistance but apparently it's not enough to resist the boss really often. So that was all I was using, look at that, she doesn't have any aura and no echo at all. So it can be way better than that in the future. I hope that you enjoyed the video, if it's the case don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one, bye bye.